be quick. My focus is receiving another signal. down here. The old ones didn't leave these. They're new growth. Devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more.
I'm picking up another signal.
anymore.
You look like a brave. Can we talk? All Mother says we should give as we're given. Will you accept this as thanks? You got me through. Thank you. Maybe there's a way to override them. Where would I find it? Why would the machine spirits allow us to approach unchallenged? The globe is a miraculous place. Spirits to see these machines up close. 
close like this. It's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. A challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Tekuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. The Nora led by the women, right? Is this one some sort of... In Van Orr, they already sing songs about the hunt I've completed. I can feel myself growing. You always find. <laughs> May there be songs in the name. Machines in the grove will let you. These lands are filled with noise. It is just noise. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. I'm taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. I'd have to leave something else behind.
This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the road. I am the best hunter of my Werag, and none shall wrest that honor from me. In Banur, they already sing songs about the hunts I've completed. <laughs> Going down fast. Tomorrow, we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Tikuk, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's no. Tikuk. It's been interesting. Our machine. The new are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. I wish you were bound for <laughs> Well prepared for the hunt, I hope. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it.
This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Snow's got a bite out here. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it. Talks are just waiting. Quite beyond your chopping shard purses. You can't just leave us here. Did Vilgen send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. More again. You have to stop the others. Up ahead. We snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. Seems like you've already done enough damage. Well. That's a fair appraisal. The 
rock slip for you bunch of chuff skulls. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banook. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. No, they've already started attacking. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. War and rend at me. I don't fear it. Knock him up. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us, between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone, and we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. The silence. machines.
This must be the pass I'm going to come about. It's Banuk territory just above. No space. Should have brought a cart. You'll be warm enough up here, Nora. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. 
Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? to meet you at any moment. Trust that our hunters need us. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burned their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wipe out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and daemons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. 
Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banook with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warwicks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Warwicks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Warwicks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain, and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location, ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it, uh... Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratak could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrong.